it's 10. I'm staying in Lisbon another day. I just got another night because I needed to wash my clothes. So I washed them in the sink. Well, first I washed them in the shower, that didn't go well. Uh, and I washed them in the sink. And I hung them up to dry in my, in my bed. And now I'm gonna try to go get some food. This is like very touristy downtown. A lot of people, a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So this is a Pafana. The guy was telling me inside that it's a, it was a meal for workers. It's like fast food, but we didn't have time to sit down for a meal. So they go in, they grab some soup. It's so good. That Pafanda was so good. Now I'm kind of just wandering around. It's just going to places that seem interesting. I want to go to a museum, but the museum I want to go to is like all the way up. I'm near the coast and there's a lot of stuff down here. And before I will go up there, I just want to explore down here more. We got the ocean over here. I think that's the ocean. And then this beautiful view. That's the cathedral. Hi, cathedral. And this is just so gorgeous. And Walt the Crane's brother. Uh, Thomas the Green. Hi, Thomas. I saw this place's dome from far away, so I've just been walking to it. Not positive what it is. I kind of like the surprise. I'm going to see if I can go inside. It's a church, and they're charging money to go in. I just sat in front of that cathedral, just soaking in the sun for a half hour. And it felt so good. Just sitting there, there's a guy playing reggae music, selling pina coladas. And I was just vibing with the music. Uh, short lived, it's raining again. That's okay. I'm gonna keep walking. I was gonna go in this monastery as well, but they were charging. Like, I understand. I need to keep the lights on, do repairs and stuff, and it's a tourist attraction. Like, I get it. I understand. But I don't want to pay to worship. I don't... It doesn't make sense for me. But I understand it. Uh, it's, it's okay. Now I'm just walking around the city. Less touristy. I'm just wandering. I went into a supermarket and just asked for a bag. I'm gonna put my soap in it. They didn't charge me, which is nice. But this is where my my clothes soap's gonna go in. This part is so much peacefuler. That that's a word, peacefuler. <laughs> it's very nice. I'm enjoying walking through it. Of course I gotta stop in the comic shop. So sweet. Peace. <laughs> Not again. Do I do it? I'm so tempted. <laughs> it's gonna be a repeat. <laughs> oh no, not again. Okay, record store. I didn't do it. I wasn't doing it again. Couldn't. I bought some cheese. Homemade goat cheese. The guy was very nice. Street market over there. And it tastes so good, I had to get it. It's gonna be good with some bread, I'm gonna snack some bread. And he said the cheese doesn't need to be refrigerated because he handmade it. I don't know, he says he never refrigerates it. Five months. Goat cheese took three months to make. Beautiful. I got some bread for the cheese, but I forgot. My bag's not here, so I want the olive oil. No. Goat cheese sandwich is indeed tasty. I finally wandered my way to the museum I've been trying to go to all day. Uh, yeah, it's a cool entrance for sure. This is the fanciest museum I've ever been in. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. Got my ticket. Go with me. Egypt 2,500 years ago. This place is so cool. I 
I get so giddy. There's so much cool stuff. And there's an audio tour as well. I'm like so pumped that I were in ancient Greece with this 440 BC thing where they used to mix water and wine. So cool. Imagine being where the Romans like to be, ancient Greeks. They all have stuff in them. So intricate. It's dramatic. <laughs> Chinese porcelain from the 17th slash 18th century. Hello. Hey. This one's pretty sweet too. This one. I saw this guy yesterday. This is from the 1600s. And it's a bunch of kids. Angel kids playing like, like these guys. Playing with puddles and playing with sticks and this guy's eating food. And then there's this guy right here. <laughs> Just peeing on this guy's head. Like, come on, if, if I was in this picture, that would, that would definitely be me. <laughs> French porcelain from the 1700s. So much. So much porcelain. This one looks cool too. I like that. That side of the museum, it was really cool. But towards the end, I just get museumed out. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to leave. And I find the early stuff like ancient Greek and Egypt far more interesting than the stuff from like the 1900s. I, I don't know, it just, it interests me way more. And same with pottage, pottery, I'm like, okay, just doesn't do it for me. But it was really interesting. It was, I really enjoyed seeing all that stuff. Very cool. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, and that's okay. I've been practicing today. Every time I try to I get out of my head, or get into my head, I just wanna get back into my body, feel my feet on the ground, feel my breath coming in and out, and just be present. And it's been good. I've been having a really great day. I like, I like doing it like this. Yeah. This museum garden is incredible. There's Ducky. Hello, Ducky. Hi. It's so cool here. Look at these fish. Look, and this turtle. They're just chilling. And this guy. And this guy. And this guy. Our girls. They're chilling. They're huge. I can just pick one up. Jump. Naruto at the museum block. I'm gonna go, I think, back to the hostel now, see if there are people there, meet them, and then see if they wanna cook dinner together. Because I'm gonna make pasta, and I only know how to make it for like four people. We'll see. Hopefully there's some, some peeps chilling back there that are cool. I was too nervous to ask anyone if they wanted to eat food with me. <laughs> so I'm going to this like famous market called the Time Out Market. Yeah. I found a Pink Street and a Music Man. In the market. I love markets. I might do the same thing I did in Porto and try a bunch of different foods and then feel really sick the next <laughs> that night. All types of food. So I was just in the market. I had that. It was fried cod, scrambled eggs, and potatoes. It kind of tastes like the texture of a crab cake. And I only took a quick video because I was talking to two Italian 
an Italian couple, and we talked a lot. They're very interesting. But now it's like nine o'clock. Streets are pretty packed. People are going out. I got a bus at 9:30 in the morning, so I might just go to sleep. But I kind of want to go out. We'll see where the night goes. Someone's on roller skates in the Spider-Man costume, dancing to Shakira. I never thought I would see this before, but they're, they're good. I was just in the hostel for a little bit, but I'm going out. Not to the bars, though. I'm going to get pastries. <laughs> it's 10 and 10, and I used the app um, Too Good To Go that I used the same as last night where places sell their food that they're just gonna throw out for cheaper. So I got a mystery bag of pastries for $2.99 and I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> Literally everyone is going out. This is so much different from Camino because I'm so used to everyone going to sleep at 10 and just the culture of not really drinking that much. And now like my hostel's full of just college kids going out to drink. It's really not my vibe but it's just what it is now. Yeah, something I'm gonna have to get used to, staying in hostels on weekends. What are you gonna Take do? a left on ruin. This guy just gave me like $20 worth of pastries. He gave me two bags. And of like, he gave me first like meat stuff and then sweets. After the meats, I was like, can you give me a tart? And he took out another bag and all these. Oh. It's a good night, good pastries, awesome deal. That should have been like 20 bucks. Put in the fridge for tomorrow. Go to Madrid in the morning, and I'm gonna edit this, watch some TV, go to sleep. Peace. Also, to everyone I know watching these, that's kind of cool. Um, thanks for following me, and I miss you. Peace.